of these romantic gestures are red flags in disguise, we are in the mood to argue. So let's get right into this Point video. One, when they're too protective of you. It may seem sweet at first when a partner is overprotective of you, but it really isn't. Especially if you find yourself having to defend yourself every time because he seems to get jealous of. She seems to get jealous of every activity, everything that goes on around you. If they are persistent on prying into your phone or your social media, which is a very wrong thing. So let me know if that's a red flag or not. Point two, when they want you to spend all your time with them. If you're dating someone and they want you to spend every single moment with them or they want to spend every single moment with you and you try to make it clear to them that you are busy or you have other commitment it isn't flattering at all it's not sweet at all in fact the relationship is unhealthy it's toxic everybody in a relationship needs to have their space like why why would you crowd yourself on me it's something let's let's go and also let's give ourselves space go and anger with your guys let me anger with my girls like it should be something choked up that's not love. Love should always feel free and never confined. So if you feel this is a toxic trait or it's um, one of the red flags, let me know down in the comments. Three. Hey, God, I beg go. Hey, men, especially men. <laughs> when they overshare way too soon, like why would you do that? In our world today, <laughs> It's, they say it's normal for um, a person to overshare. You get, you try to talk about your personal details in the very, the early stages of relationship, either friendships or boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, anyone. But why overshare? They think it's normal. And they say um, when you talk about your personal life quickly it shows that they respect you and they trust you meanwhile it's necessarily untrue it's not true if you just start talking to someone you're interested in and they tend to overshare it now gets to a point that they are being disrespectful oh and it leads to name dropping why why like why and sometimes it especially leads to their ex so just watch out baby girl baby boy just be on the lookout because they will mostly do the same thing to you how do you expect um, a toxic girl or a toxic guy always talking about their ex and what their ex did to them and stuff like that but your ex is always doing you bad only you all your exes are doing you bad won't you look back and think okay what did i do to receive those bad treatments from my ex you are the problem in the relationship. You, you that I'm talking to, you are the problem in the relationship. So would you say oversharing early on is a romantic gesture or it's a red flag in disguise? So comment down below. Let's see those comments really. Number four. When they say I love you too soon. This is an early stage relationship tactics aka love bombing <laughs> they shower the person with over the top display of affection and attention followed by manipulation and abuse it's normal it's normal to feel infatuated quickly in the early stages of a relationship but if the person is quick to say i love you or that you are their soulmate oh few weeks into dating you may need to ask yourself a simple question what does this person really know about me enough to love me so guys we've come to the end of this video let me know which of these four points i pointed out are red flags in disguise because you know <laughs> we're giving the tea we're spilling the tea for you girlies for you boys if y'all don't know me my name is debbie stay tuned to this channel to see more updates from me because i'm trying to take my life seriously this 2023 i'm trying to be intentional stop procrastinating and hold myself accountable actually for everything I'm going to be doing. I'm putting more content for you guys. 
so stay tuned to this channel subscribe like share my video and i'll see you in another one see ya catch you later